Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at the Big Blue TL2600P torch. So this is a powerful torch in a relatively small compact body, uh, plenty of mounting options, plenty of power. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is how it arrives uh, in a, a reusable dry bag. That's pretty cool. Um, this is like a, I don't know, five, maybe six liter dry bag or something, but Hey, it's better than a plastic bag. Um, we've got a little label uh, on the top, uh, just TL2600, lithium ion, rechargeable battery, LED tech light. Um, Specs, so three LEDs, uh, light output, this is pretty handy. Uh, so 2600 lumens at the maximum level, uh, four different power outputs down to 260 lumens, uh, aluminum alloy, lithium uh, rechargeable battery pack, 32650 battery, 10 degree narrow beam, Burn time at max is one and a half hours. That's pretty good for 2,600 lumens. Uh, if you step it down to the lowest power setting, 15 hours, uh, 100 meter tested as uh, maximum depth. That's pretty deep. Um, dry weight, 359 grams. I'll double check that. Uh, negative buoyancy of negative 188 grams. So it's gonna sink. Um, push button, tempered optical glass, uh, and a lanyard, let's see inside. Um, well, actually the, the bag itself. So we've got a little uh, sort of attachment point there. Pretty traditional pinch clip roll top dry bag. You've got instructions on the top on how to use a roll top dry bag. Inside, we have a lanyard for the uh, for the dry bag, so uh, sort of a shoulder strap, a cardboard box, and that's it. So that's your dry bag. Cardboard boxes will be what the uh, the torch is in. Opening it up, instruction manual on how to use the uh, the torch. Uh, so pretty simple, just sort of have a read through that. The torch itself, um, and then, and then uh, it's actually taped into the uh, the box. So I'll show you the torch in the next section. You also get a charger, a, a huge battery. Um, so that's your rechargeable battery, uh, 32650, 3.7 volt, uh, 700, uh, sorry, 7,500 milliamp hour. So big, big battery. Um, the recharging cradle to uh, to recharge that with a, a UK three pin plug. Uh, so that will cradle inside of that. We get a, a wrist lanyard. So you attach that onto the torch, slip it over your wrist. So that way, even if you drop it, it's not going too far. You also get a lantern grip. With a uh, with a bolt. So you can bolt that to uh, to the top of the torch and then you have that as a lantern grip. This is metal, uh, which is very nice, very strong. Uh, you've got uh, that kind of finger section so you can grab hold of it. You've got attachment points for the lanyard so you can sort of put the lanyard there and just sort of shine it around. Um, that's quite nice. That's that's better than I was expecting. And, uh, and yeah, just a simple bolt with a um, uh, with a compression washer. Also get a bit of silicone grease. Greasing those O-rings uh, is essential, only a little bit just to uh, sort of keep them uh, sort of supple and sealing. And a Goodman style handle. So this is a, a mounting point for your torch. I imagine you use that same bolt Oh no, to light there, it comes with a separate bolt. Uh, so you bolt it onto there so the torch is fixed. And then this is a kind of a, a thumb loop so that it attaches to the back of your hands. You've got this Velcro section here. Uh, here it is. So you loop it over itself. This is actually that nice Velcro. It's, it's not scratchy. It's that sort of modern, uh, sort of relatively soft stuff. This loops over and then around and then kind of velcros back onto itself so that you get, if I made it a little bit too small, there you go. Um, so that kind of 
creates that fixing attachment point so the torch bolts onto the back of your hand. Uh, I imagine it's more for where it's left-handed so that that's facing forwards. Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty strong mounting point. You also have an attachment uh, sort of D-ring there so you can put a, uh, a bolt snap or something onto that. Um, a pair of O-rings as well, spare O-rings. I imagine they're in the torch itself. Uh, that's everything inside of the box. Let's take a closer look at the torch itself. So this is the torch itself, um, pretty compact. Uh, overall, so this measures, my calipers of reach, 127 mil across. Um, so pretty compact, um, nice and light as well. So let's weigh it really quickly, just switch that on. Um, because it's aircraft grade aluminium, it's pretty light. This has got the battery in it as well. So 369, 70 grams. Um, yeah, not particularly heavy. Aircraft grade aluminium, corrosion resistant, nice and light, but pretty strong at the same time. It's what most torches are being made out of. You've got this sort of shiny gloss finish to it, which is quite smart, uh, especially in the black. You've got uh, this sort of crisscross hatching, which gives you a bit of grip, something to uh, sort of yeah, grab hold of in the water. On the top, three LEDs. So that's what's producing all of that 2600 lumens of light. Single button activation. That's how you activate it, change through the modes and switch it off. Uh, the handle there, and then a couple of anchor points down at the bottom, one just opposite sides. So depending on where you want it, uh, and then the, uh, the bottom's just sort of recessed. On the underside, the other side of the button, you have this attachment point. So this is for that lantern grip or that Goodman handle. You screw it into this section here, and then you have these two little notches that just stop it from twisting and turning, makes it so nice and straight and really strong and secure. Turning the battery, uh, sorry, turning the, uh, the torch on, so you have the button and then around that, you have that clear plastic section. That is your battery level indicator, color coded. So if I just press it once, it turns on the torch, but you might be able to see that it's got a blue coloration to it. So that's your battery level indicator telling you how much battery life you have left. Uh, if you just cycle through those, sorry, if you press it on uh, after a while, is that's the off button, but press it on, that's full power, then it dials it down, and then down, and then down again. If you hold it down, it's gonna flash. And then if you press it again, it goes to full power. Uh, just keep pressing it and eventually it will just switch off. So switching it back on, you can see it's pretty bright um, and it's fairly focused as well. Um, so you have a bit of a corona uh, around the main hot spot. So this is a good all rounder, something that you can signal to your buddies with. You can focus on one thing in particular, but it's also illuminating the reef around it so you can actually see where you're going. Um, Opening it up, you just unscrew the head from the body. And then here you might be able to see we've got our two double O-ring seals. Um, so two O-rings, just a bit of redundancy. Every time you open this up, just make sure they're nice and clean. They don't have any like dirt or grit or hair on them. Nice small like a very light film of uh, of silicone grease not too much too much and it's going to attract all that uh, sort of dust and stuff uh, just just so enough so they're shiny uh, then on the inside you have the battery so the negative uh, side goes in first uh, and that is the other uh, big blue tl2600p torch mm -hmm.